Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. It is Classics Week. This is the last review of the week. Uh, tomorrow we will be doing my top five favorite classic horror novels, where I'm going to have to uh, break my own rules. Uh, I believe I stated in the Frankenstein review that I consider anything over 60 years a classic. Um, I have not read that many books, uh, but I plan to for next th the next next year's uh, 31 Days of Halloween. Um, I've realized uh, when I got to the end of this week how little classic horror literature I have read. So I've looked up uh, The Mysteries of Udolpho, The Monk, uh, several different ones that I'm going to be reading. Um, and you, I'm go probably going to get a lot of flack for tomorrow with the top five because it's only going to be the ones that I've read. But we'll see how it goes. Today, however, we are talking about The Strange Case. Don't look at my sales stick. Of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> Anyways, these are on sale at BAM for like five bucks for the paperbacks, eight dollars for the hardcovers. So I got a couple of them. Um, I got a Dracula, I got a Frankenstein, I got a whole bunch of different ones. But anyways, um, we're talking about the strange case of J Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde today. Um, this is one of those classics, this is one of those stories that has always stayed with me. Um, I don't remember watching any films based on this. I'm, I can't remember if the Mary Riley uh, uh, movie with uh, Julia Roberts is about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But anyways, I can't remember if I've even seen a movie version of this, but we all know the story. You have Dr. Jekyll, who starts experimenting in his laboratory, um, or laboratory, um, and he concocts a uh, concoction, <laughs> he makes a concoction that uh, changes him into a horrible, brutal uh, persona called Mr. Hyde. Uh, the book, uh, there's minor spoilers here, um, these are classics, so I but I'll let you know anyways. It's minor spoilers. Um, you come to find out that, uh, that they're the same person throughout the entire book. I mean, it's kind of a twist at the end when you find out um, in Jekyll's own words um, how he, he's been leaving, leading this double life. Now, what I enjoyed the most about this book is, like Frankenstein, I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the message. Um, I didn't really enjoy how it was written. I'm just not a huge fan of this. I don't know if it's Victorian. I don't know what you call it. Um, I'm not a fan of this type of writing. Um, it's full of superfluous details. It's full of stuff that I don't enjoy. But I did enjoy the characters. I enjoyed the two main, Utterson and Enfield, I think. Which it was, I believe his first name was R. So R. Enfield. Uh, it starts with an R. So Renfield, I'm not sure. I didn't do too much uh, looking into this, whether or not Dracula came first. I didn't know if it was a, a common name back then or what, or if it is an ode to one or the other. I'm not sure. Um, whichever came first, you know, did they name Enfield, Enfield because of that, or did they name Renfield, Renfield because of that? Who knows? Probably neither one of those. It's probably just a popular name. But my favorite part of this book is the message. And that is the duality of man. Um, I've lo long known, and I'm sure you guys know too, good people can be horrible at times, and horrible people can do good deeds. Um, it's the duality of man, or uh, mankind, humanity, whatever. Um, definitely not leaving the uh, the women and they them's out of this. But um, it's it's funny that i don't know it this this idea of these two separate uh personalities living in every in everybody i i really enjoy that on a personal level so maybe i'm a little biased here because so i have so many i have a bit of a reputation because i review honestly uh, uh people have called me bully people call me all different kinds of things and it's whatever to me but i find it funny that i can be that you can be seen as a villain to some and to a hero to not not really a hero but someone that people trust on the other hand it just depends you know um, and being that to those people, are you really the good person that the good pe the not the good people, the people who think you're good, are you that good person? Are you that bad person that the people who think you're a villain are? It's a very interesting concept to me. Um, it reminded me a lot, only well, not a lot, only slightly of uh, Luigi Perandello's uh, one. 1,000, 100,000, something, no, one, no one, and 100,000, I believe 
is the title of it. Um, I got a review up on the channel if you want to check that out. But I'm going a little bit longer for this one because this is my favorite out of what I have read so far. As far as the message, um, I did enjoy the reading of Frankenstein more, but I enjoyed this story and message the 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 back stuff the stuff that is I implied and alluded to i enjoyed that far more than i enjoyed most of frankenstein even though frankenstein was a hell of a lot of fun um i'm gonna give both of them five stars and the reasoning for that is because with, with frankenstein i had a blast reading it and seeing all the different characters especially the character development with victor with this one, there wasn't much character development as far as that's going, and the pacing is all over the place. But the reason why I'm giving it that five stars is, is because it is a perfect allegory for the duality of man, and I really can't fault it other than the the way it's written, but that's, that's my own personal bias. So um, if I'm looking at it objectively, I love the story. I love the idea, the message behind it. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the writing, but it gets the story told. Um, I'm not a big fan of the pacing, but we find out, you know, it's it's a twist ending. Not really an unreliable narrator, but it's a, it, it's a twist, you know, and I, I enjoy a good twist. And even though I knew this one was coming, because everybody knows the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, and if you don't, I highly suggest that you pick it up. Um, but, I mean, it, I've already spoiled it for you, so it's whatever there. Anyways, have you read The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson? Please, right? Yeah, Robert Louis Stevenson. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the first time I said his name this entire time. But if you read it, let me know what you thought of it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.